The United States Postal Service has had it rough lately, from its much publicized financial issues to its carrier shortages, all against the backdrop of record volumes. Well, the agency could use some good news. I mean, that's it. Well, here it is. While your poor beleaguered carriers will still be buried under Amazon Prime packages, they'll soon be doing so in style after the USPS sees the first upgrade to its delivery vehicles in 30 years and with some exciting features to boot. The new standard USPS truck will feature a classic right side steering wheel, of course, but there's a lot about the rest that has changed. A large segment of the new fleet will be electrically powered and those that aren't are being designed for easy retrofitting. The trucks have also been designed with taller cargo space to accommodate the change in societal behavior. While traditional mail volume is down, package deliveries are way up. Perhaps one of the most interesting features of the new rides is a design that intends to protect pedestrians. As the use of trucks and SUVs has increased over the years, the incidence of fatal pedestrian vehicle accidents have gone up. And that's because of the heavier weight and larger front end strike zone of these vehicles. The new USPS van will be designed with a narrower front end. So if a pedestrian were to be struck, they'd be more likely to be hit in the legs than those vital organs. The jutting out lip also means a pedestrian would be apt to be thrown onto the vehicle's hood rather than in front or beneath it. Either way, the design should make these incidents far less fatal should they occur. A large high visibility windshield should also aid drivers in their ability to view their surroundings. The effort will take about a decade to fully realize and USPS has chosen Oshkosh Defense to assemble up to 165,000 vehicles at its existing US manufacturing facilities. For Thomas, I'm David Manti and this is the Thomas Industry Updates.